So today I'm going to be checking out the new Tom Ford Black Orchid, the 2020 release. I've really been wanting to try this one ever since it first came out. It really caught my eye. The reviews have been great across the board from what I've seen, not only from reviewers, but just people who are picking them up and smelling them in the community. So I'm really excited to finally be trying this one. And I'm going to be trying it live on camera. This box is still sealed. I'm going to be giving you my first impressions here. And I do want to let you know this video is being made possible by fragranceby.ca. I'm sure most of you are aware of them by this point. They've really been doing a good job of taking over the fragrance game in terms of offering amazing fragrances, offering great presentation of which they ship the fragrances in. Their boxes are awesome. A really nice customized presentation to you. And the shipping is really fast coming from Canada as well. What I love about Fragrance Buy is a lot of times they'll be one of the first discounters to get in new releases. So take this one for example. When this first came out and before it was available at any other discounters, I'm pretty sure Fragrance Buy CA was one of the first to get this one in and provide it to you at a discount. And it's still the same now. If you look at a lot of new releases there, sometimes they'll get some exclusives in, like for example, the new Emporio Armani Stronger With You Leather. That one's kind of a limited edition, uh, kind of special edition one. And they are the only one that has it. They are out of stock now, but that's just kind of a couple examples to show you they'll get the new stuff in really quick. And they also do a good job of keeping stock of some discontinued fragrances. So if you're looking for any designer or even niche out there that's getting harder to find, usually Fragrance Buy will still have it. They do a great job with their inventory and keeping stocked up on a lot of these types of fragrances. So they did send this fragrance out to me. Very excited to be checking it out. And I'm also excited to be offering a $50 giveaway to their website, again, courtesy of fragrancebuy.ca. This is something that they're paying for, so a huge shout out to them for making this all happen. That will be issued to one lucky subscriber. All you have to do is leave a comment down below telling me what fragrance uh, caught your eye on Fragrance Buy's website. So I will leave a link down below to their website as well, of course. Go over there, browse around, look in their new arrivals, look in their um, you know, hard to find, discontinued fragrances, or just browse all their website and tell me what interests you. Once you found the fragrance or fragrances that interest you, come back to the video, leave a comment saying which ones, and also while you're at it, go give them a follow on their Instagram page, their social media, just to kind of help them out. And then in a week's time, I will choose a winner for the gift card. Again, this is a $50 gift card to their website. Okay, so I just pulled the bottle out of the box, and I really like the presentation. I love the all gold. I think it looks really nice, really classy. Uh, these types of bottles in general, I think look amazing. They look timeless and classy. Um, just like gray vetiver, you know, they have the clear slash frosted glass, depending on if you get the eau de toilette or the eau de parfum, um, just the shape and everything about them. The cap looks amazing. What I like about here is it has this little detail right here. And I don't know if you can quite see it, but we got a little bit of a kind of a string rope with a little metal plaque that has um, the TF initials engraved on it. Uh, again, you might not be able to see it. It is very shiny, so it might be hard to pick up. But it does say Tom Ford. Nice little touch there. This is something that, um, for example, the gray vetivers do not have. And as far as I'm aware, I don't think the original Black Orchid has that, although I could be wrong. So right off the bat, presentation looks awesome. Um, this is one that's going to be an eye-catching one. It is a very shiny, bright bottle indeed, and it does look nice, and again, for the price of these Tom Fords, which really on Fragrance Buy isn't too unreasonable. I believe you can get these 100 mils for about $155, $156 or so when they have them, which is not bad at all. Um, but normally, I mean, at retail, you're gonna be paying quite a bit more than that. So it is nice to see some pretty cool details and stuff here on the bottle because the presentation is pretty important to a lot of us out there, especially when you're spending that kind of money. So the cap is off. We're going to do our first spray here. Get a couple of nice sprays. Atomizer is okay, a little bit narrow, but it does definitely get the job done for sure. Ooh, right off the bat. Opening up with this nice Ylang Ylang, kind of this floral feel about this one and a bit of a warm powderiness as well. For me, I'm also getting a little bit of that plum that is talked about and mentioned in the note breakdown of this one right off the top. A little bit of plum, a little bit of that ylang ylang, like I just said, kind of opening it up a little bit fresh. And of course, obviously coming through almost right away in the opening is the orchid, the black orchid, what this fragrance is all about, that floral touch like I was talking about. That was prominent for me right off the bat. As soon as I sprayed it, I could get the florals coming from that black orchid. A little bit of a sweetness is starting to come through now that it is drying down. Sweetness is gonna be coming from that truffle. Um, there's some patchouli in here giving it a bit of an earthy woodiness, but the florals are prominent right away. Even though the black orchid is listed as a mid note, I get it in the top as soon as I spray it on. 
the Ylang Ylang, kind of a similar story with that, giving a little bit of a counterbalancing fresh pop. And of course that truffle coming through, just kind of adding a little bit of a sweet undertone to the fragrance. Smells really, really nice. Right off the bat, you get that Tom Ford quality. You get something that smells expensive. It smells high end. I mean, this does not smell like your typical designer cheapy that you would grab at a discount store. I mean, this has quality. This has depth to it, it has dimension. Um, this is something where if you're trying it for the first time and you're maybe not too sure about it yet, you're gonna need to wear it multiple times to kind of get your nose adjusted to it. Not everyone is going to like this fragrance 100%. Some guys may think that it's kind of feminine. Um, some women may think that maybe perhaps it's a bit older school smelling to some extent. Right, so there's gonna be a bunch of conflicting opinions here with this one, and that's why it's so important to you know try this stuff for yourself. Don't just go off of what everyone else is saying. For me, I always give my honest opinion. If I like something, I tell you. If I don't like something, I tell you as well. And for me, right off the bat, I like this one. What it always comes down to is wearability. I don't know if I would wear this one that often, you know, reach for it for myself uh, to wear out, just because this one isn't quite in my style to where I'd be wearing it often. However, from a you know fragrance enthusiast side of things, from you know kind of looking at the artistic side of fragrances, I really like it. I think it smells great. It's different and it's just kind of exciting. You're like, ooh, okay, this is something different here and a bit unique. Um, so from that end of things, I really, really like this one. Again, from the end where you know I have to sit down and think, okay, is this something I'm gonna be reaching for and wearing? Chances are probably not that often. It could happen, maybe here in the winter time, just the cooler months is when I would reach for this one. It'd be more of a kind of special occasion or if I just so happen to think about this one and I pick it up and spray it on, that sort of thing. Normally, you know, I kind of don't reach for fragrances like this that much. Uh, floral dominant fragrances usually aren't my thing, but I do like them when they are done well and I do think this one is done really well. Very nice overall. Smells awesome. Again, coming through, I'm getting a nice earthiness coming primarily from that patchouli, I would say, as it's started to uh, settle down on the paper. And then along with that, you just get this nice sweetness. And I think that's kind of coming from the rum accord and truffle mixture. Uh, it's just kind of the mix of those two notes, even though the rum, I don't think, at least right now, isn't that pronounced like in some boozy fragrances out there. It's kind of lending hand in hand with the truffle to just give it a little bit more of a sweet touch. Uh, really, it's a nice fragrance and it does transition really well from the opening to the dry down. It kind of keeps you hooked, it keeps your attention, and so you can keep smelling it through the different stages. Of course, I haven't gotten to the full dry down yet. I'm just talking about from when you first spray it on and then just letting it transition as it starts to settle down uh, to get ready to go through the different phases. Talking about when you can wear this one, I would say right off the bat, it's gonna be a really nice formal type of scent, formal evenings, that sort of thing. Um, it's not really something that I would necessarily wear on like a date unless you have been with your uh, wife, girlfriend, person you're going on a date with for a long time and she has also smelled this one and she likes it, then sure, that'd be a great option. But to wear this on like a first date, you know, would be my number one choice for sure. Because depending on the girl, depending on what she's into, she may kind of be a little bit put off by this one. At any fault of the fragrance, that's just the type of scent that says, I would say formal situations, dressed up really well in the cooler months, this one would work really nice. So guys, that's pretty much it. That's my first impressions on Tom Ford Black Orchid Parfum. Really love the florals in here, even though florals usually isn't my thing. It's really well done here. The sweetness comes through, the earthiness comes through, smells really nice. Like always, I will come back at some point and do a full review on this one. I'll get to the dry down fully, um, give it multiple testings. Usually after I test it a few times, I pick up on different things. I'll also be able to check out performance and things like that as well. And remember, if you want to enter that giveaway to win a $50 gift card to fragrancebuy.ca, make sure you go over there to the website, browse around, see what catches your eye, and then leave a comment down below on this video. Go give them a follow over on Instagram too. Again, this video was possible because of them. They have supplied the fragrance very kindly of them, and they also are giving you $50 to spend on their website. So hopefully you guys will show your support by going and shopping with them and following their social media. That's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.